Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one. If we can make this one come up a treat. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have here Time Magazine. El Mundo de Bad Bunny. I heard of Bad Bunny, some kind of rock star. Don't follow, don't know who the fuck. And we're interested in this picture here, which is a Guggenheim Museum. Guggenheim, that's like where a lot of art gets exhibited. In my work, I wish my work would end up in the Guggenheim or other major art gallery in the world like the Louvre um, not that I'm one of those people that gets any kind of attention from the art world I do feel like I've been snubbed by the art world in my youth when I tried to get my stuff get art galleries interested in my work they weren't they wouldn't. I don't know how I'm going to I'm going to hold this, but I can't just hold it like so. But basically, yeah, I just feel the art world doesn't like people like myself, um, who are, whose work is not. I don't know why. Why my work is not considered arty enough, and that's come up looking quite interesting. Uh, but basically, I really struggle with. Uh, I just can't get my work to go, to get exhibited or, or even to go to air. I'm trying to get on the 6 o'clock news on Channel 9. And Channel 9 do air some artist's work, but they don't air mine. They just want someone else's. It's not fucking right. I hate it. I fucking hate being upstaged by other artists who've already made their mark in the art world. Because most of the time, Channel 9 likes to show artists that have already made it they're not interested in people like myself starting virtually start, starting from scratch like i never i don't have any art art exhibitions under my belt i don't have any written records like what they call a cv or a curriculum vitae which has become an essential for all artists if they want to get exhibited if they want to get recognition they've got to have a cv or the curriculum vitae, as it's called, and basically a person like me hasn't got any of that, any records or anything, or any proof that I've been exhibited that my work is worth something, because it's all about money. And people like me don't make, typically make much money. We're not, I'm not a money spinner, folks. I don't fucking have the ability at this stage to spin money. Um, I'm not a fucking good at promoting myself I'm trying to use my talent it's raw talent it's not it's not the kind of talent that's got a pretty face and all made up and all prints print 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 and preened this is this is basically it what I'm doing here is very amateurish but what can I do I've got to start somewhere folks I've got to start somewhere I can't rise to the top unless I get some help you know, if I don't get if I don't get Channel Nine to help me, what can I do, folks? I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything. I'm also disabled, and this disability, my brain damage at birth, which hasn't been diagnosed uh, formally, um, it prevents me from working in a normal job. I work in what would be classified in the old days 
as a sheltered workshop and that's really not a place for a creative person to, to try and make a living. Uh, I want to concentrate on what I can do and this art is what I can do and yet these artists that get success, they're, they're, all, they're not disabled. If they had to, they could work in a normal job and get away with it, whereas a person like me has to put all the eggs in the artistic basket because there's no other way that I'm going to fucking get any, any living, any kind of dignity. Uh, so, you know, the only way I can get this dignity is to, is to try and get my art to speak for itself, you know, to basically, what can I do, folks? I'm not fucking good at, at money spending, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best. So I had a cord around my neck and I came out breach, and that's fucked up my memory, my short-term memory and my hope at campus. I read are uh, very vulnerable to oxygen starvation, and I can't learn. I can't go. To, I can't learn like a normal person. I can't study. I can't do anything. I can't even work fast enough. I'm too slow. I make mistakes. I don't want to say. I'm not going to, I don't want to be negative about things and sort of think it's never going to happen, but I, it does concern me that I can't get anywhere as an artist, so I have to fucking do what I can, try to use my talent um, as best as I can under the circumstances, not having enough people on my side who can really help with my campaign. I feel like I'm on my own, folks. I really feel like I'm just struggling all by myself, that I can't go anywhere on my own, but I have no other choice. I'm a, I'm a lone wolf. I have no no personal... I don't even have a friendship circle, folks. I don't even hang out with people. I don't go to... I certainly don't go to art gallery openings and I don't sort of schmooze with the other members of the art society I don't do that folks I don't um, I can't I haven't got I haven't got time for it anyway I'm trying to work on what I've got here what am I doing folks but basically yeah I just don't have any, I don't have any record of any exhibitions because I've never had any exhibitions anyway and I don't have a curriculum vitae like most artists at my age. I'm 50 now and I should have been surging in when I was young. Now I've got to enlarge that more on the horizontal. I'm trying to get in touch also with a lost partner whose name is Luigi and I'm really struggling to get this material to help me uh, with that cause to get in touch with this person um, trying to get on the six o'clock news on channel nine as I said and basically it's proven to be more difficult than than easy and I'm trying to get my work recognized so I don't go under because the cost of living is going up and my photocopier is has is now five years old it's now reached the five year age where typically it, it could end up being unserviceable because the spare parts are no longer available and basically whew, that's going to be a pain in the ass for me because i won't if it breaks i won't be able to afford to get it fixed without the service agreement so really I'm stuffed. I have to either, it's either sink or swim, folks. Sink or swim. I've got to swim. I must swim, otherwise I will sink. Like this photocopy of being dropped in the ocean, it'll sink to the floor very quickly. And same with me. <laughs> I'll go down with it. Uh, like going down with a ship, perhaps. <laughs> being a bit dark here, folks. A bit of dark humour. And I've done this wrong. I was meant to, I made it to... Ah, oh, fuck me dead. But basically I'm trying to try my best, folks. I am disabled. I should really get TV channels like Channel 9 should show an interest in someone who's got a disability like mine and has to fucking deal with more stuff than a normal person. 
So someone's got their art in the Louvre Gallery. Oh, yeah, clap your hands. Slow clap. Hey, clap, clap, clap. Yay, but why do they have to be on the news instead of me? They've already got success. They're already obviously pulling lots of money out of their art, living the dream, while I'm still living the fucking nightmare, trying to get my stuff out there with the rest of the art world. What, what do I do to deserve being given the proverbial bum steer in the art world? I'm trying to get in touch with my partner Luigi, who would have had contacts with people in the early 90s when I had the opportunities, but I didn't marry him, I never loved him, and I never saw him after the third time we met, and I never rang his phone number, I just threw it in the bin. I thought I was, I thought I was really envious of what Luigi had. His name's Luigi, folks. And I didn't like him. Even though he loved me and he would have cared for me and he would have shown me how to become famous and rich and help others with the, with also with, with, the, with the riches that I have. And now I'm just on the disability pension and I'm working in a sheltered workshop and it's like, fuck, you know, I want to be on the taxpayer's purse either, being on Centrelink. Sure, Centrelink have done a great job looking after me. You know, good on you, Centrelink, but I need to move on if I can just get this stuff to go to air and then I'll leave, leave the taxpayer alone and let someone else take my Centrelink payment. Someone else who hasn't, who's probably not got a future, who doesn't know how to make life work in their favour. And, yeah, they, 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 and even if they do, they'll, they'll still need some help along the way like I have. Uh, but I need to get off the taxpayer's money purse, folks. And that's what I want Channel 9 to help me with. If they want me off it, if they think I'm a bludger, well, they, they've got to fucking put their money where their mouth is and do something. And that's come up looking quite a treat. I think we can now call this arty-farty demo quits.